So I was cleaning up this tank the other day and I had noticed that my heater wasn't coming on very often and you can tell it's got a, yeah, it's got a green light on it and it's got a red light when it's on and the green light's been on fine but um, I hadn't noticed the red light on so when I was cleaning the tank I decided to look at the heater and I took it out, put it in some water and found out that it wasn't coming on. I don't know how long it's been like that because this tank actually, even when it doesn't have a heater, doesn't seem to go below like 72, 73. Um, it's not that cold in here and because I have some little babies in a tank with no heater, I did have my heating on a little bit higher than I normally would and we are in Florida so you know it doesn't get that cold but you don't want to take a chance with your fish they can get fungus and things like that if they get too cold um, I've mostly got guppies in here they don't seem to care I've also found that the rainbows aren't that fussy my two little baby rainbows are here somewhere I don't know if you better see them they absolutely love this tank it's like they've found a whole new world of space and they use every single inch of it they absolutely adore it anyway so i had to go out then and buy a new heater i already have one a bit like this in one of my smaller tanks i'm not very impressed with the other heater and i'm trying to find out the name of it i threw the box away um because i've only had it a year and already it's broke and we live in Florida, so it's hardly been on. I mean, most of the summer, I don't run my heaters. I only run the heaters, um, usually January, February, maybe into March. And uh, so I'm not very impressed. It probably only had about four months of use. Um, if I can't find out the name, I will do a review about how bad it is. And perhaps somebody can tell me what make it is and uh, I can give them a stiff letter about the quality of their heaters you know if I lived in a cold climate and had my fish in the basement a uh, heater would be quite important if I didn't heat that basement, that base, basement. Um, everybody else is doing well my needles are still here um, all my Corys are still here. It's quite funny because people are always saying don't have one Corey on its own because you know it does get lonely but my um, older Corey he does everything he can to keep away from the new ones. You know I thought he might miss his mate and um, the little ones kind of follow him but he doesn't want nothing to do with them. I had exactly the same problem with my um, Neon. Uh, I bought some friends for him and he does everything in his power to get away from them. So it's quite funny because he hides everywhere. In fact, I think he's hiding now. And then they go searching for him. And um, he is not impressed at all. He's very old and he was sick. Um, so he doesn't swim very well. So I just think he wants to be left alone. Both my rainbows are doing quite well. They don't seem to be getting much bigger. I did expect them to grow a lot bigger by now, but maybe they will do that later. <coughs> so that was my other big thing that happened this week. Um, losing a heater. Still, it's all sorted and um, it goes to the fact that you should always check your temperature at least twice a day. And, uh, make sure the thing is working. <laughs>